All right, we're here with head baseball coach Matt O'Brien. Coach, uh, hard to believe, but the season's uh, just a few days away. Uh, but before that, um, you were hired in August. How was the transition uh, to Morris for you? Uh, it's been great. Uh, first and foremost, everybody that I work with around here, is, it's a very positive environment to work in. And uh, the guys, you know, were very welcoming. Um, they went right to work, bought in right from the start. And uh, it's been, uh, you know, a lot of stuff going on, but... It's been a pretty easy transition. As a new coach, you're just not meeting uh, that, that new freshman class. You're kind of meeting uh, the whole team. You know, um, they can all be fresh faces to you. So, what was that transition like for you to kind of get to know the guys, their likes, dislikes, their personalities? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, coming in, uh, you, you've got to earn the trust of your team, and uh, you know, it starts with your older guys. And I think being able to explain uh, kind of the vision of where I see our program going. Uh, was very well received and uh, there's just been a nice trickle down effect. I think that's one of the strengths that we have is that our senior class is, is a great class of kids that are that show great leadership. Um, they're very competitive and so a lot of their kind of values are very similar to mine and so that's been making that transition a lot easier as a program. And then uh, what's the vibe uh, around the team right now during practice? Yeah I think right now it's uh, a lot of excitement. You know, at first, I think when you're starting off, a lot of things are new. So there's that adjustment of kind of the mystery of what's next. Um, I think, you know, being in Minnesota, being inside, you know, you're trying to take advantage of preparing your team to go play. Um, and so at some point, though, they start to get a little bit stir crazy and they want to get out and play. And I think that's where we're at right now is that, you know, I think we could, we've done as much as we can to prepare our guys. Now it's just go out and, and, and compete and see uh, – where improvements we have to make going into Florida. What's your message to the team right now heading into the opening uh, weekend down in Texas? Yeah, I think the thing that we've really echoed as a coaching staff is just that we put a lot of different things in and, uh, you know, they're prepared. We've really developed, you know, broke down swings, you know, mechanics, stuff, pitching and fielding. And so, um, you know, they should right now, they know how to do what they're supposed to do. It's just being confident in what they're doing. And so going down there is an opportunity to have fun, play, and, uh, you know, kind of see where we're at, you know, before we continue our season. And when you guys do finally get to play outside uh, up here in Morris, uh, you'll be playing at Chiswick Field. What does that mean to the community and to the team? Uh, to, personally, it means everything to us. You know, I think being able to have a park like Chiswick Field, you know, in your backyard that is, you know, has so much tradition there, but also... Um, you know, is, is a great ballpark. It's taken care of. It shows a lot of pride uh, from the community. And I know as a Cougar baseball team, we're excited to just be able to play there. And um, I think our fans will love the experience of the stadium. Um, our guys got an opportunity to play there last year. They loved it. So they're very excited about playing there. But um, yeah, I think the key word there is just a lot of excitement. Uh, Cougs just recently hosted the uh, inaugural, inaugural first pitch dinner. What was that like to bring in the friends, family, and community members? Yeah, it was, it was something, again, that was, you know, new to our program. And uh, I, I just thought it was special. You know, any time that you can get uh, your players, you know, and uh, get them all dressed up, get their families there, uh, invite the community, um, you know, have a, a, a guest speaker like uh, Lyle Rambo, who, who means a lot to the Morris community, speak. Um, it's a big deal, you know, and it, it, again, it starts building that excitement for the season. Um, but most importantly, it's a way to kind of celebrate your team and everything that they've accomplished before the start of the year. And uh, you aren't the only new member to the Cougar uh, baseball coaching staff. Tell us a little bit about Harry. Yeah, Harry Ballantyne, uh, gosh, she's been great. Uh, I don't know where we'd be without him right now. Uh, he's kind of come in. Uh, again, his values line up very similar to myself and our program. I think the guys, you know, have really gravitated to him. Uh, he's very hardworking. He's passionate. Um, he's been spending a lot of time working with our hitters, um, and and seeing them kind of gravitate to his philosophies of what we're trying to do. Uh, I, I've seen a lot of development in a short amount of time, and uh, I think the future is bright for our program. And then, uh, how do you describe your goals, outlook for the team this year? Yeah, I mean, we talk about this as a program, you know, we want to build a culture of development. And what that means to us is that, you know, our, our team's constantly trying to get better each day. And we're trying to develop our players 
uh, individually. And so that being said, we talked about in the fall, hey, when we start the fall, at the end of the fall, we want to be better than when we're at the start. And I think that holds true during your season. Yes, every game we go into, we want to win, we want to be competitive, but we want to grow, okay? We don't want to make the same mistakes that we made at the start of the year. So we should be playing our best ball down the stretch of the year. And uh, hopefully that's us competing for conference championships, national tournament, things like that. All right, we're here with senior pitcher Michael Hyde from Casson, Minnesota. Michael, hard to believe, but the season's uh, just a few days away. Um, but before that, uh, last year you were a academic all-conference member and a uh, honorable mention uh, all-conference member also. Um, kind of what's the vibe of the team right now with uh, Coach O'Brien and Coach Harry here? Uh, these last few weeks have been pretty fun. Uh, they really brought a new intensity to the team. I expect a lot of us, and uh, I think a lot of guys have come forward and um, are going to do great this year. Their leadership and just their ways that they're getting everything that they want out of us has been great. And we really banded together and to you know pursue the goals that we have for the season. And yeah, uh, for yourself individually, you're coming back from injury. Uh, how's that process been? It's pretty good. I, yesterday, I'm six months post op. Um, Feels pretty good right now. I'm about to where I was when I got injured, so that's a good sign. Uh, still have a little bit more time off, but hoping to get back in the mound in Florida. Um, it's, you know, uh, baseball in the north, uh, especially Minnesota, uh, kind of uh, in the gym for quite yeah. some time. But uh, what's that been like? Uh, what's the vibe of the team with the newcomers and the, and the upperclassmen? Yeah, it's definitely a grind being in the gym, not having any hope of being outside at all. but. Uh, with this trip coming up this weekend, I think everyone's excited to get outside and just see how, how the newcomers are going to play with us um, who have been here. We had a pretty good look in the fall, but I think getting down to Houston should show. And then, uh, and then for yourself personally, what kind of goals do you have and uh, goals for the team? Uh, I guess my biggest goal uh, athletically for the year is just to get back on the field. Um, and then for the team, we're always looking to get that conference title and just uh, protect the ball. We want to make sure we're taking care of the little things, not giving away free runs, and just we think the rest can follow if we do those. And then off the field, uh, what's your major in the classroom and kind of uh, what are your career goals? Uh, my major is sports management, and uh, I actually this summer accepted a position working for Target in the Minneapolis. So that's where I'm at right now. I hope to be there for a while. And, yeah.